Hi everybody, it's Mike, WB4HUC, and I finally did it. I kept saying after the past few videos I was going to get a better webcam, and I finally did. So, a few days ago, I updated the video uh, where I show how to control the Elecraft KPA500 amplifier with the N4PY software. So I'm just redoing that same video, only with a newer, better webcam. So as you can see there in the uh, upper middle of the screen, uh, the picture's a lot better than from the old webcam. The new one is a Logitech C922X. It says Pro Streaming Webcam. I'm not a pro and I'm not going to be streaming, but uh, I needed something that was better than what I had, and uh, that's the one I chose. So anyway... Um, just to get started on the video again, and I'll probably delete the old one after a week or two since it's really not going to, or the previous video I did, I'll probably just delete it in a week or two. Uh, I'll leave it out there for a few days, just if anybody's interested in comparing the old and the new. But in any case, uh, since that one will be going away, I'll just repeat everything I said before. So in version 4.17 of the N4PY Pegasus Plus software. You can see that that's what I have running here. And you can see the uh, part of the front panel of the uh, amplifier. And you can see that in the settings window in the call sign top 10 uh, screen you've got these this line here for amplifier control. So you can turn the amplifier on and off. You can put it into standby or operate mode. It'll report the temperature. And if you get a fault, you know, you you operate the amp into the wrong antenna, you feed it with too much input power, any of the things that would cause a fault. The fault number, I think, shows up here. Or maybe it shows up here. I don't remember. And you can clear it with this button. So... Just to demonstrate that, we'll turn the amplifier on. And there you see, again, in the menu of the amplifier, you can tell it to power up in standby or operate mode. And I prefer to have it power up in standby mode. That just seems to be safer. And then using this button here, you can put it into operate mode. And then here, if there were a fault, you could uh, clear it. And then this just uh, displays the same temperature that uh, it's not showing here, but it would be shown in the amplifier's uh, LCD display if you set it to display the temperature. So, and again, this is in uh, version 4.17 of the Pegasus Plus software. Now, I am missing, I don't know what happened, but uh, whatever versions there were between 4.17 and 4.22, I'm uh, missing. But uh, so I don't know when it changed. Uh, somewhere in between these two versions. But the current. But I'll just show you the current version because it's the same as uh, in 4.22. So I will stop this one. And we'll start. version 4.31 holy cow I don't know what that was uh, version 4.31 alright so I'm covering up part of this window but I don't care this is the important part here so I'm really anal retentive about lining up my windows um, so here uh, if we go to call sign top 10, you don't see that line anymore to control the amplifier. That's because it's been moved to its own separate little window, which is shown here. And again, it's the same thing. Uh, the amplifier is now in standby mode. Now it's in operate mode, standby mode, and we can turn it off. So it's the same functionality. There's the temperature. 
and again I believe if the amplifier experiences a fault the fault number shows up in this uh, little button here and you can just click it to clear the fault so that's it uh, oh uh, it's not quite it I guess you can't see it but if uh, the, the keyboard combination to bring this window up and to make it go away is uh, alt J so I press alt J and it uh, and it takes it away and I press Alt J and it brings it back. Now just to save a little bit of screen space I just usually take this thing and I run it up here and then I'll just take this and I'll run it up. Well no I won't. I'll leave it about right here. Because I only have one monitor and every little square inch of screen space is pretty valuable. and uh, then I can run this down and there we go so uh, and and since I keep make room for it here uh, I generally keep it up all the time but you know you can also move it down here and move these up all right and then you can reduce this even a little more and there it is. So you could always just bring it up to use it and then press Alt J and it'll go away. So it depends on how you like to set your screen up. Uh, you can even get rid of the control bar and move everything even further up. Run this back down. And there you go. So anyway, the whole purpose of this video was to redo the previous video with the better webcam. And basically it's the same information as it was before. So when you bring up this window, you can move it pretty much anywhere you want to move it to. So that's it. Uh, again, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.